Hello, my name is Megan Dietrich. I am a research and financial administrator within the School of Engineering at Stanford University. Today I'd like to take a few minutes to discuss allocation methodologies. As we all know, research groups frequently incur expenses which benefit multiple projects. Several examples are monthly service center fees, capital equipment purchases, blanket POs, and even labor expenses. When working with these expenses which benefit multiple projects, it's important that we charge each benefiting project appropriately. Thus, we need allocation methodologies. Here in Engineering Research Administration, we have three criteria we use when developing and implementing allocation methodologies. The first is that they're logical, that they make sense. One common approach is using personnel effort. For example, if a third of a lab is working on project A and two thirds of the lab is working on project B, it may very well make sense to charge a shared expense accordingly. Another example is square footage. Again, if a third of a lab space is allocated to project A and a two thirds is working for project B, it may be appropriate to split an expense accordingly. Our second criteria is that they can be easily replicated. We want to make sure our source data as well as our map is easy to follow and access, whether it be for a colleague, a central office, or even an auditor. Our last criteria is that they're consistently applied. We want to make sure, for example, if we're using personnel effort, that we use this methodology each month in expenses incurred, and we don't bounce between various methodologies. I hope these tips prove helpful in your day-to-day -day research administration work. Thank you so much for your time.